Now I am about to remove the spark plug from cylinder number two and I will show you guys how I perform my leak count testing. So first of course I'm removing the spark plugs. Um, I like to do it one at a time um, just in case something falls on the engine. Um, you don't want it falling into the cylinder through the spark plug hole. So keep your work area clean um, and preferably do one spark plug at a time. Before installing the leak down tester on cylinder number two, you want to place cylinder number two in top dead center. So the way I do it is I take a nice little welding rod, anything, a long screwdriver will also work, and just place it in the cylinder spark plug hole. Um, then I have a wrench on the crank bolt. Um, and I will rotate the engine clockwise and watch this um, stick actually move up with the cylinder or like it's doing right now it's actually going down so as I rotate the engine clockwise um, I will observe my this stick going up moving up with the cylinder or down at the moment it's going down that means the cylinder is moving down so I'm gonna keep rotating it until it reaches the bottom which is about right now I see it stopped moving and now it will begin moving up there you go so I keep rotating the motor and it is almost reaching the top dead center I want to stop a little bit before um, the top dead center just to make sure that I actually hit that spot um, I'm gonna connect the leak down tester first and then if I see some leakage I'm gonna rotate the piston just to make sure that it's leakage um, that I'm actually looking for and all the valves are closed I have always the possibility of rotating the engine just a tiny little bit more to close all those valves um, so the next step is to install the the hose for the leak down testing and this connects to the right hand side here and now that it's connected to cylinder number two I can start opening the pressure gauge I want to go up all the way to 90 there's 90 so the right hand side is actually showing a little a little bit more leakage than the previous one so um, let's say this is 90 and that is um, 87 so um, that would be 3% leak down but I just want to make sure that's correct and I'm going to keep rotating the engine a little bit and see if those valves actually close up a little bit or they might open so then we would stay at 3% it's actually a little harder to rotate now because of the pressure try one more time (laughs) 
Actually, that dropped a tiny bit over here. So I think my valves were closed before. And now, as I'm turning, they will open up. So I think the 3% reading is correct. As I keep rotating the motor, the valves start opening and more leak, more air leaking through. And now we have opened the valves completely. So you can continue this process until you have reached all of the cylinders and um, a difference of 5 psi between cylinders is satisfactory. A difference of 10 to 15 psi indicates that the need of further investigation is necessary. Um, Due to standard engine clearance and normal wear, no cylinder should ever be expected to maintain a perfect no leak reading. It's important that all cylinders have a relatively constant reading, but though. Um, good luck, and I hope this helps.